OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 play. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video we have a couple of big major breaking news for this video give the video a like thumbs up like 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 all right let's get to it i did a video a couple of days ago this past week about there's rumors of a PlayStation 5 redesign underway and now more information including the production date and and spe specifications of the system already a redesign most of us should have saw this coming because the original PlayStation 5 is a beast the largest home console ever so check this out this is coming from videogamechronicles.com PlayStation 5 redesign will enter production in 2022. So, expect holiday 2022, a PS5 Slim or a PS5, we don't know what it's going to be called. A new report claims, supply chain sources say the redesigned console will feature a new semi-customized 6 nanometer CPU from AMD. Whenever there are specific details like this, where there's smoke, there is fire. Okay, so the article says again, production on the PlayStation 5 hardware redesign will be in 2022. According to Taiwanese business um, website DigiTimes, that's what they're getting their sources for which claims that suppliers including semiconductor foundry tsmc are planning to start producing the redesigned playstation 5 console <laughs> here's even more detail between the second and third quarters of next year that's all pointing to a holiday release second and third quarter is when the productions ramps up um in time for the holiday as noted by um, um, games analyst Dr. Serkin Toto, um, he's a reliable source. Digitized supply chain sources say the redesigned PS5 will come with a new semi-customized 6 nanometer CPU from AMD. All right. It's likely the redesign is purely components focused and won't feature any significant external changes all right sony recently said we're going to get to it said it's unlikely that supplies of ps5 console will drastically improve in its current fiscal year all right and so really the real reason why this redesign is coming is because of the shortage of semiconductors and <clears throat> according to this article and he is a reliable source circuit toto He's saying that if you have the current PS5, you're not even going to see a difference that the redesigned PS5 will look actually similar. So they may not be slimming anything down. It'll look the same, but they're changing the internal components so that uh, they can produce more consoles. It's already been reported. PlayStation 5, fastest selling console in US history based on this same exact time period. So they wanna make sure that supply chain can meet the crazy demand. But bro, the lit news keeps on coming for this video. Next news item. Sony has just announced Game Boost. And it says on the official um, trailer, um, in the description, it says enjoy faster and smoother frame rates in selected PS4 and PlayStation VR games. And so, similar to what Xbox has just been hyping up and announcing um, improvement in old games, I have to tell you this. 
never too hyped to play old games on my new console. So even if this wasn't announced, I'd have been like, so what? But new game boost for the PlayStation 5 will increase performance and resolution on, on select PlayStation 4 games. There is what game though that I would go back and play Bloodborne. I've beaten Demon Souls on my PS5. Love the game. Bloodborne in its current state is only 30 frames per second. Even on the PS5 right now. It's in the PlayStation collection. So I have it in my library. But the fact that the game is only 30 frames per second, I'm skipping it. Whenever this game gets a boost, um, it takes advantage of this boost mode. And I can, what is it called? Game boost. I'm saying boost mode. It's called game boost. Whenever Bloodborne can take advantage of game boost and it runs at six, a solid 60 frames per second, sign me up. I've already beaten God of War. I'm not really going back to that. I already beaten um, Shadow of the Colossus, the other game shown in here. I don't know if I'll go back to that. I would go back to Ghost of Tsushima and try to platinum that game. There are a couple of games I would go back and platinum whenever... Those ex when I whenever I don't have a month of uh, solid PlayStation exclusive, that's what I'm gonna do on my backlog and platinum some games. But Game Boost, a new feature just announced for the PlayStation 5. It was just announced yesterday. All right, hot off the heels of Nintendo announcing this game builder garage, similar to Dreams on the PlayStation 5. You can make your own games, bro. Nintendo just had their quarterly financial briefing and the Switch has passed 84 million consoles sold. There's no stopping this beast right here. It's just going to continue selling, man. By sometime within this fiscal year, um, 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 2022 fiscal year, calendar year, it's going to pass 100 million sold. A handheld portable, it's going to just keep selling. I want to see what the Switch Pro is going to be about. So, Switch has passed 85 million, which is nothing, absolute nothing to shy at. This next news item I thought was pretty funny. Epic and Apple, they're having a major battle in the courts right now. But the fun side effects to this whole legal battle, gamers are getting inside information on some of these huge companies. For this news item, Microsoft, their internal review, review team, their documents on Last of Us 2 have been um, shared somehow in this court document case. And it shows what the Xbox team really thought of Last of Us 2. And in a nutshell, Xbox internally within their own quarters <laughs> have been saying, this game is miles ahead, was miles ahead of anything out at the time. And so publicly, they may have been hating on the game. But privately, they've been giving Last of Us 2 high praise and I just um, found it interesting on um, what they were saying. Um, this is what they say, and I quote, this is some of the quotes from, this is coming from Microsoft talking about Last of Us 2. We were frequently stunned by the quality of the game's visuals, something that sadly seldom happens these days. <laughs> It's even more impressive considering that the game features two separate player characters with different groups of allies in different locations along with flashback sequences taking place years before. This is what was a highlight for me. The story in this game is the best story in a video game I've ever played. I said that about Horizon Zero Dawn, but I think this game takes the edge. Just how they were showing the contrast and how everything came together epic but it's crazy how xbox was giving this high praise behind the scenes all right last news item for this video resident 2 dope games come out tomorrow resident evil village which right now is standing at a solid 84 on metacritic if you're thinking about picking up this game i'm passing 
I'm laser focused on Returnal, bruh. That's why this astronaut is here. Returnal, I'm almost done with the second boss. All right, so Resident Evil and another game that's flying under everyone's radar drops tomorrow. Hood, Outlaws, and Legends. Bro, do yourself a favor and check out this game. It looks pretty dope. It's like if Assassin's Creed had 4v4 online multiplayer. That's the best way I could describe Hood, um, Outlaws, and Legends. If the game devs hook me up with their free early copy, y'all watching this video, you know what I'm saying? I played, I stream it on the channel, you know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all love. The game looks lit. All right, what do you guys think of everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace